Welcome to Shite Happens. Today we're going to talk about IBS. IBS is commonly referred to as irritable bowel syndrome. So let me give you the definition of IBS. It's when every single piece of fecal matter wishes to exit your sphincter at precisely the same moment. It's projectile excrement. This is kind of stuff comes up like you wouldn't believe. Okay. A couple other rules. One is the rule of proximity. The closer you get to a toilet, the worse you have to go. So you can be standing right over top of it and still shake yourself. So you got to be prepared for this. It starts with a little rumbling in the stomach, right? And the pain will begin. And when it shoots out, it's yellow foam that projects about six feet. The other rule is, if you get into a can, and we've all done this, you get into a can and there's no toilet paper and you don't have time to switch to another one, you use certain things first. Your underwear goes first, then your socks, then your undershirt, then your shirt. So anyway, I'm at a wedding on top of the Royal Ontario Museum. Real fancy, schmaltzy kind of place. They're serving drinks out on the balcony overlooking Toronto. And I'm pounding down the champagne. I've had a few drinks the night before, so I was a little rocky in the stomach to begin with. And first they served this beautiful chicken on a skewer, soaked in some kind of lovely sauce. And then there's this salmon-y kind of trout or something, whatever it is, some kind of fish with cheese on it on a cracker, right? And then I started eating French fries, like they serve you in Belgium in a cone. And you, you, you put uh, mayonnaise on it with lemon. So that pretty much sent me over the edge. So it started to rumble. And when it starts to rumble, you know things are going south, right? It used to be in the old days when I was a kid, you could get two rumbles, and now we're down to one. So as soon as it starts, you got to go, right? So I get off the balcony, I race into the washer. Fancy place, they only got one kaibo, right? A couple pissers, but only one kaibo. So I'm standing out there pacing back and forth or something in there. It's driving me crazy. I finally knock on the door. I said, come on, you got to hurry it up. we got an emergency. It is bad, right? My rear end is stuck so close together, you couldn't put a pin in there, okay? So I get into the same hammer, no answer, right? Pace a little more. Now I'm eyeballing the, the, the pisser, thinking I might have to dump in there with the sink, and that's going to be an ugly mess, right? So knock again. I said, buddy, we're not kidding around. you got to get this thing out. Let's go. Come on, right? So a little kid walks out, and I don't know if he was having a wank in there, or if he was just, you know, whatever he was doing, he didn't even flush the toilet. It was pristine when I got in there. I start to take my three-piece suit jacket off, right? Just as I'm sitting down, it unloads, okay? There's shite everywhere. Now, there's three types of guys who got irritable bowel syndrome, okay? There's a guy that wears briefs. Okay, that guy, he's got God's second chance, right? His underwear looks like the Shroud of Trin. He's got bacon strips. He's still got a second chance. I like to live on the edge. I got boxer shorts. When you shit yourself with boxer shorts, you got shade on your shoes. You got to change everything, right? And then there's guys that go commando. Those guys are just insane. They're extreme. They should be locked up, right? So I'm standing there. I unload everything. I got shite everywhere. I got shite behind my tie. I don't even know how it got there, right? So I'm thinking to every problem there's a solution. I look in the toilet, start trying to clean up. Not only that, it stinks. It's vile. It's like a chemical dump site, right? So I'm thinking, what am I going to do? So I decide the best thing is to get out of the place. Get out in the street and see if I can work something out. So I go to the balcony, and because I grew up with a deaf person, I know how to read lips. So does my wife. So I said to my wife, I shite myself. She goes, ha 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 ha, laps her head off. And I said, okay, fine. So I walked across the dance floor. As I'm doing that, people are going, oh, God, they're starting to gag. Of course, I'm just going, well, that's terrible. Who could have done such a thing, right? I continue to walk. Get to the elevator. It's a three-man elevator. Nobody's there. I get up. A couple walks on, start to gag, and I walk off. I can hear them gagging all the way to the bottom floor. Comes back up. I get on. I'm standing outside, full of shite, full of shite. I'm thinking, what am I going to do? I figure this is going to cost me about a grand, right? I'll go to a hotel. I'll talk to the bellhop. I'll get new suits, new shoes, everything, right? I'll put it all on the card, right? And then I'm thinking, I got a little brother who's much heavier than me. But he got married in a suit that would probably fit me, so I phone him up. Forbes, how's it going, bud? Not bad. Listen, have you still got that old charcoal gray three-piece suit? He says, yeah, yeah. Can I have it? Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. I need a shirt. I need socks, because there's shade on my socks. There's shade everywhere. I need a pair of shoes. I need everything, right? So he goes, well, 
what do you need all this stuff for? I said, well, I, I'm at this wedding at the Ram, and I shake myself. He goes, hey, kid, your Uncle James shit himself, right? So all, all the laughter, everybody's having fun. So I get a tarp. I always keep one in the car just in case, because once I had to sell a truck, as it is. I put it down. I drive to my brother's place. Take everything off. Put it in a green garbage bag. Shoes and everything. Later on, I give it to my wife. I said, give him an extra 20. Tell him to take it to the cleaners, right? So I get showered. I make it back to this place. Make it back before the entree. I sit down. Nobody even knows, right, that I disappeared for this long period of time. Nobody knows what I did, right? I sit down and they go, hey, what happened to you? I said, ah, uh, had a problem at work. It was a chemical spill. Everything's clean and green. I shite myself in the Ontario Royal Museum and got away with it. Shite happens.